Okay, it's time to do some isochrones, and so today what we're going to be doing is mapping travel time to uh, fr from Harrisonburg or the university campus to everywhere else in the state of Virginia. And in order to do that, of course, we have to get some data. I don't really care how you get this data, as long as you you know pay someone if you copy it from them. I mean, presuming a classmate. But long story short, um, one way of doing it, quick and dirty, I did this last night in about, I don't know, 30 minutes while watching TV, is to go online. And there are a couple ways you can do this. You can either go to like a site like Bing Maps. And get directions from, I don't know, Charlottesville, Virginia to And it'll give you the, tra the travel time there, one hour, one minute. Or there's another site that I found which probably uses exactly the same technology. And it's called Rand McNally's Mileage Calculator. Now why I like this one is A, you don't really need a map while you're calculating mileage. And B, once you type in a bunch of place names in your Excel spreadsheet just by looking at a map, you can simply copy, paste, sometimes it does that weird pop-up, and get this. So 5 times 6, so that would be 332 minutes. Hey, I got it right. So you punch them in this way. If you're in Teams, I recommend you break these down and each of you do a section or something. But it actually doesn't take as long as you'd think, and it's pretty mindless, so do it while watching TV or, I don't know watching a kid's t-ball game or something. So once you get the data like this, the next step is to um, bring it into ArcGIS, of course. So I'll do that right now. Wrong data set. Let's see here. So we've got uh, travel times. Great. Now, of course, what we need is some data to join this to. So there are a couple of ways we can go about this. You can download populated places um, data from ArcGIS online. Or you, if you have the data on your Mac, if you've downloaded it from Esri, which you're allowed to do, if you have a student license or anything, you can go download it. So I just have to find it here. Where did I save this? No, it's not there. I think it's in ArcGIS. Ah, here's my USA data. I want census and places. And let's zoom in on the area of interest. All right, let's select by attribute. State equals Virginia, or state equals West Virginia, or... All right, I'm going to hit pause so you guys don't have to watch me do all these. Now we, uh, uh, basically, now as you can see, I selected all the states where we actually have data from, all the places in those states. I'm going to I hit apply, I'll hit OK, and then we're going to export just those places. Selected features, isochrone state places. That'll take a second. Yes, we'll add it to the map. Let me remove that. Okay. So you'll also, of course, want to download or find uh, the interstates and the state boundaries and the county boundaries. But this is basically, I'm just showing you how to get your data in here. So now the trick will be to join this to our table, join. And of course, we want to join the name of the place. 
and we're going to join it to this and we'll use city as So 215 records were matched. That's pretty good. Let's hit close. I'll hit OK. And then what we're going to do is another select by attribute, select by attribute. Travel times and minutes um, are greater than are equal to or greater than zero because we want to keep Harrison Berg on there. So let's apply. And so these are our points because basically these are the ones that don't have null values under travel times. So let's hit OK again. We'll export this. Someone just texted me. I apologize for the interruption. OK, so there we go. We asked we want to add this. And now we've got our places. So long story short, what we've just done is we've created our own data. We've taken places from the census or from you know ArcGIS, it looks like, but it came from the census. And we've joined the table with the places we have, selected only those places that, we're, that we have data for. And now we can make a, and sorry, who's texting me? Ah, my sister, good heavens. Sorry about the interruption. I'm gonna turn the, yeah, vibrate, okay. So we now have our data. We have a shape file with our data, and now we can actually start to make contours. Or, sorry, iso <laughs> isochrones out of this. So how do we do that? That's the next step, and I will record that in the next demo. Thanks for watching.